Hey guys! Today I am doing a quick short version run through on the day designer. For those who don't want to watch my little bit longer version and don't want to see the comparison with Emily Lay who just want to see the day designer. This is a daily planner. It is beautiful. It comes beautifully packaged too which I show in my longer video and I will link below. It has a beautiful pocket and all your months are gold tabbed in this one. I absolutely love that. This is what your monthly spread looks like. The tab is hooked to the month. She gives you a lot of information in the beginning about how to use the book and a lot of ex planning pages in the beginning for like life planning and goals. And she talks about all that in the beginning. Then you go into your month. You have a notes page for every month right there. And then Saturday and Sunday are combined. This is a Saturday and Sunday spread. You have your to-do top three at the top, then Saturday, then Sunday, laid out hourly from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. Then you have your next week ahead right here, which I like looking at for Saturday and Sunday. You can jot stuff down there. Then I will show you your normal layout and my pen test. This is a Tuesday. This is your Monday. You have your top three. You have a do, dollars, dinner, don't forget. You have a quote on every day. And then there's your date up there in the corner. I tried a Sharpie pen out a La Pen and a Pilot Precise V5. There is no bleed through and there is very, very little ghosting of those pens. So I think um, I give it a, a A for the paper. It's nowhere near as thick as Inkwell though. Inkwell is the only one that doesn't have any ghosting and is super thick. So hers is right online though with all the other planners and um, they don't show through. They don't have a horrible ghosting problem. I love her daily layout and that is it. You go and you go to the next month and it's the same thing. You get a notes page. Oh, I thought you got a notes page at the beginning of every month. Wait, maybe that's before the month. Aha. Yeah, no, so I guess it's just where it fits in at different months because I had noticed that in some others. Okay. Um, so you don't have a notes page at the beginning of every month. I was wrong about that. So you have your dailies, and then so you just flip to your month, and the day starts right in for every month. Then, let me show you the back. There's no pocket at the back. You have your pocket at the front. You do have some notes pages at the back. Just one. One notes page at the back, and you end right there on December 31st, which is a Saturday, Sunday this year. So if you want a daily planner, um, hers is beautiful. It's a little bit bigger than Emily Lay, and I talk about that in my other longer video. It's a little bit bigger, and so it's a little bit heavier. I talk about that in the other video. If you want to see more in-depth, linked below, I will have my more in-depth review with this and comparing it some to Emily Lay. It is a great daily planner, though. I think if you pick the day designer, if you want a whole big day spread, you will not be disappointed. I absolutely love her top three. I've used that in my life ever since I've seen that in hers about a couple years ago. So that is something that I actually use in my own life and love the top three for the day. All right, guys, there was a quick review. Have a great day.